old, new. Let's do a review. Here we go. Oh, new shirts in the house. Old shirts in the house. Last seasons, new seasons. Let's do a little cursory review of both the differences, which one thing is better, blah de blah de blah. So, go for a macro large, which is about medium and normal human being, earthling size. Um, so yeah, collar. Obviously, we've got a bit of a uh, bit more colour in the collar this time compared to the the red one last year. Um, and then we've got this weird kind of let's show off your chest hair, um, Saint Christopher. Um, you know, some lovely jewellery or whatever, V-cut thing going on, um, which we seems to have um, moved up from last season's shirt around the waistline. Um, and then compared to this season's, none of that jazz, just a straightforward little sort of triangular bit. So yeah, we've gone from that on the old shirt to that on this. So there we are. In terms of the sublimation, the red dragon is there. Same as what it was on last season's shirt, but last season's shirt was just confined to the sleeves. And obviously the back, which we'll get to in a minute. Rubberized badges again, I wasn't initially a fan of, but you know, we'll see if it stands the test of time. Um, that's ultimately the, the big thing. Um, whether a retro shirt will look retro in 30 years time remains to be seen these days, but there we are. Anyway. Let's go to the back. So here we are, rear of the new shirt, Vista print. Got the sublimate dragon at the top. Bit of aerated area of rear Vista print on the back. Unlike last season's uh, fag packet warning, which is on the sleeve. Yeah, not the best. That's how Vista print should look, I guess. That's their proper logo, it would seem. Um, if we come down, we have Wrexham. In Welsh, sublimated. Nice touch compared to last season's, which was a giant dragon. A couple of little pulls there. But yeah, overall, a lot of people saying what's happened to the 1934 um, aggressive colliery disaster um, mention. A lot of it seems to have gone on other bits and bobs in the shop, um, caps and so on and so forth. Um, and I'm guessing the club are going to be looking towards more of a Permanent memorial at the, uh, the new cop end, so watch this space. Anyway, let's recap. So, kind of fits quite nice. Um, camera is making that look better than what it is, actually. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a grower. Obviously, that is going to go down as legendary status now because, you know, 111 points, National League title winners, lest we forget. But, yeah, back to the shirt. You know what? It's not that bad at all, you know. And there's a lot of contention over this United thing. Um, what are you going to do? I mean, they pay the money. They get the choice of where they're going to put it. It's on the shirt. You know, just tell people it's United Airlines, which is exactly what it is. So um, I haven't got enough chest hair up here. To be honest, it's a chest hair or a lower hairy neck that you'd have. I don't really know. Um, either way, you can also... If you don't like the uh, the sleeves, you can kind of pop them up um, and have kind of a sleeveless kind of vibe going on if you really wanted to, but that might look a little bit silly to be fair. So anyway, that's um, that's the upshot of this year, I think, for the most part. 